Yeah, so it finally happened to us. Miranda and I got ants in the camper, and uh, it was pretty much contained to just outside with the black tank and the gray tank and the valves are, and I got them all killed. Went fishing, come back, they found their way in. And uh, I was up late last night, it's in the morning now. You can kind of see residual what was left, but this was our pantry. And they had found their way up the pantry and they had found their way into some rich crackers. Anyway, so we had to take everything out of our pantry and inspect it all. And now we're going back through that this morning. But lesson to be learned here, spray all the legs of your camper uh, with ant repellent, your tires. And then in this scenario, they actually came up uh, the water hoses, the, the fresh water tank and the black water tank hoses. They came up and in and kind of got into that way. Also, we're right next to a big tree. I mean, like this close to a big tree. There's a chance that they're coming in from up top and coming in on these rails of the slide. So you might want to spray the slides too. But anyway, that's what we learned last night and this morning. So we're still trying to get the ants. And this is our latest attempt. Terro, liquid ant baits. So we've got six stations. We've got five of them set out. we got one we haven't. Hopefully. They help kill our ants because we had a catastrophic event yesterday where I grabbed the Jif peanut butter and honey and there was like hundreds of them crawling on both my hands. They were all in it. We had to throw a bunch of stuff away in the pantry. So now our pantry's been cleaned out and de-anted and we've got these little bait stations hidden in key spots. The other key area behind the fishing poles. been seeing a bunch and we think it's because the water is in here in the shower so we got some of them hidden up there where they've been coming from so we are literally like a week and a half, two weeks into battling these ants. And uh, we've got ant attractants. We completely consumed a Jif peanut butter jar full of ants, honey. Uh, they got into the honey and uh, and here we are departing Chiha and I'm doing the last dump. We've been looking and uh, I've been spraying ant killer everywhere and I can see another spot where they either tried to leave our camper uh, and they ran into my poison and most of them are dying and uh so that's good but i mean we've killed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and you just wonder when it's going to stop how many of them have gotten up under this camper and in the slides and uh so it's not fun everything you see on the floor on the wall and the ceiling you think is an ant that you must squash but uh we're slowly getting them taken out they're definitely a lot died so and they're the same little black ants we got at Mississippi. It's not a new wave of ants that have come here from Chiha Park. The ants here are like as big as your toe. And uh, so we don't want those in the camper. But anyway, still battling these dadgum ants. And uh, when we're all said and done, we'll hopefully have a conclusion as to what worked best and what didn't work. All right, so we finally got rid of the ants. It was like several weeks, probably into over a month of ant killing, don't you think? At least three weeks i don't know if it was quite a month yeah it was a lot of Close. ant killing for a long time and then we thought we were done there were still like a just a random ant yeah. that would just show up and you got to the point every spot you saw in the camper you had to go like push on it to see if it was an ant because you, you just assumed it was an ant but we wanted to summarize uh, why we think the ants came and what we use to get rid of the ants because inevitably if you do a lot of fifth wheeling a lot of camping whether it's tent pole trailer fifth wheeling you're probably going to have to deal with some ants so the particular day that we found them i went outside to do the gray and black dump tank there was an ungodly amount of ants all piled up 
and where you dump tanks at around the livers. When I told Miranda that's where they were, she kind of had this idea. Um, Miranda, why don't you tell them what you did? It might have been my fault. So I was trying to clean our, I call it the stinky slinky. Like, it's just gross. I'm sure you should clean them from time to time. And so we had some rain coming in. I got the idea I was going to put some Fabuloso on there. Like, the best cleaner. It's cheap. You can get it at the dollar store. Love this stuff. So I just diluted it with some water. And I went outside and I just sprayed the stinky slinky. I sprayed their little black hose. Well, apparently ants like Fabuloso. That's the only thing I can think of that attracted ants into our camper. So, lesson learned on my part, don't use Fabuloso because it attracts ants. I don't know if it's kind of, it's sweet smelling, it's lavender scented. I don't know. There's no sugar in it that I see. So You didn't spray it on my neck, did you? Because Marshall seems <laughs> to like my neck. You're probably salty. <laughs> so I recommend not using this outside because it attracts ants. At least it did while we were in, where were we, Alabama? Mississippi. Mississippi, wherever yeah. we were. So We took Mississippi ants to Alabama, Tennessee. Yeah. We took them with us to Virginia, too. Those tiny little ants. You know, They're hard to get rid of. Sugar ants or something. I don't know. I've, don't heard, know I've heard them called little sugar ants. Little guys. But anyway, so that's probably what they're attracted to, even though it says that it repels ants. Don't spray Fabuloso somewhere around that you don't want ants because there's a good chance it attracts them. It seemed that that was the only thing that made sense why they were I all glued so. to that one area. It's the only place she sprayed it where the, where the ants were. Who would have thought? I didn't Who think a thought? cleaner would have attracted ants. But So we went and bought those Terro got two hours so i'm rolling my hours we bought the terro ant liquid ant bait bait stations yeah. and they seem to work what was unique about them is it like i guess they communicate maybe they're like bees or something but you had to get one ant to go in and once one ant went in the rest of them seemed like they would follow um i showed you that one video where we've got two bait stations up in the top of the shower but only one of them was filling up with ants and the other one was that far away and it was just because that's where the ants were so i don't know if they put off like a pheromone or a sound or a smell or something but they all go to the same ant uh, that started it off those worked really well and then um this home defense stuff this is a, a spectricide by uh spectricide by buckstock this and we had an ortho home defense same thing it's just that it's that cheap stuff you can pick up at lowe's or home depot it's got the little spray bottle on it you know so you can just fill it right back up and just squirt it around wherever you want but that killed them on like on contact and so we just sprayed it around all the little places we were seeing them run and gun and go and so that was a uh, kind of our one-two punch but we got rid of them took quite a while lost some food in the pantry but all in all hope this helps you guys when you run into our favorite little friend the ant bye from hitching and fishing we'll see you guys on the next one bye bye marshall bye